Welcome to a new method of decoding the Yale Y150-40 four-wheel combination padlock. This method is a big surprise because it's a true decoding method, although it does not require to pull on the shackle. The method was shown to me by one of my viewers. The YouTube channel name is Zayak1209, so buddy, thank you very much for letting me know this method and for showing me how to uh, conduct it. Yeah, this method is, um, is really interesting and you would never think that it works, <laughs> but it does. Um, but it seems to be um, unique to the Yale because I tried it also on the Avis, on the Lockwood and on the Burgwächter. Um, they are the same type of locks um, compared to the Yale. All have four wheels and um, all have um, four skates. Um, all behave more or less the same when you decode it in the usual way by pulling on the shackle, but only the Yale 150 slash 40 seems to be uh, susceptible for this very special type of attack. So stay tuned and I will show you the method. So here comes the method. Uh, I close the lock and I turn one wheel by one number and one wheel by two numbers. So we have one wheel in a true gate, one wheel in no gate, and one wheel in a false gate. And the shackle is pushed in, and I do not pull out the shackle, I just wiggle the wheels up and down. And the first wheel, which is in a true gate, is kind of dead. It stays wherever I push it, and it has quite a bit of play. The next wheel is in no gate, and you can see it's... It's springy. The springiness comes from the spring that is on the other side and it's quite a bit of difference here. <laughs> you can really see the difference between this and that wheel. The third wheel is in a false gate. It also shows resistance or it also shows springiness. You can't really see it but I can feel it and it's not this type of totally loose feedback. So we will use this kind of feedback to distinguish true from false gates or from no gates in order to decode this lock without the need of pulling on the shackle. Alright, let the fun begin. I change the lock into the change mode so that I can shuffle the wheels to get a new random code. Just make sure that I'm at a number and not in between two numbers. And close it and shuffle the wheels again. So, let's see. Let's zoom in. So we are here at, at a number and not in between. Okay, let's start. Shackle is in. This is springy, it's all springy. Still springy. I think that's loose. Yeah, that's the loose um, type of feedback. Not really used to this method now. Now oh, that's springy. I think that's the kind of loose feedback. Yeah. Springy, that's loose. Springy, 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 springy. Springy and loose. And it's open. 
That was fun. That's a really cool method. I would have never expected this method to work actually because if you don't pull in the shackle, the teeth of the inner wheels are actually in a kind of an open space and I cannot really imagine how this method works unless uh, we have some strange um, manufacturing markings uh, from the uh, gates um, just all the way along or the, the, the tooth uh, the teeth of the inner wheels extend somehow I don't know maybe you will see this lock again in a disassembled state and we will look at the internals but for now that's it yeah Sayak1209, thank you very much again for letting me know this very interesting and unique method and everybody else. Thank you very much for watching, happy picking and bye bye! <music>